You don't mind if I talk and work, do you? What can I do for you? Not the coziest place for it, is it? But the open air, the lightning specifically, is a boon. Let's our mages have a rest now and then. Good test of the equipment, too. We're working on making it less delicate. Our junior researchers are still a little soft. Glad you asked, Amiko. Very glad. We're very excited about the work here, and we are always looking for volunteers. We've catalogued a number of interesting properties unique to Luminous Adra, but there are some very specific qualities we are investigating. Qualities that a watcher happens to be uniquely suited to exploring. You're just what we're missing. No, no. Well, yes, what isn't, but not exceptionally dangerous. Luminous Adra has special effects upon Keith. Even to the humblest, it offers some small improvements. Rejuvenation, vitality, the kind of thing you sell to people back home, ne? But what about those who have already harnessed their own essence? Consider the talented cut purse, for instance, who can cross a room by slipping briefly into another place. The world between. Luminous Adra holds enormous quantities of essence, the kind of energy we can't replicate or restore. And these formations have a kind of connection to each other across the in-between. I believe we can harness this connection and your natural abilities to transport a person across great distances in a moment. On volunteers, well-paid volunteers. That is the very least of it, Amiko. We've only managed short jumps thus far. I'm hoping that your own gifts will make the difference. We've collected a number of illuminating readings and our machines are ready to harness the Adra's essence. But for the moment, we are effectively blind when it comes to targeting the next pillar. Now, if someone were capable of sensing that essence in the in-between, even of manipulating it, someone like a watcher, for instance. Precisely right. We've had luck with shorter jumps, but those were as much spellcraft as science. The idea is for you to focus on the next connection point. The machine will use that new link between the Adra veins to create a tether as well as provide the energy for you to jump effectively. What's really exciting is, so long as you are holding that connection open, your companions can jump alongside you. Or they could hold things down here, make sure it's safe for you to come back. The next peel is due east of here, in the middle of a farm. It's not as tall as this one, but you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Oh, and don't worry. We paid the farmers. There was that fellow that jumped a little too far over the edge. Stop scaring our assistant. Gelardi. Very well. You stand there. Ansel, the machine. All right, Watcher. Remember, focus on the beam of light. It ought to be like stepping through a door. And remember, don't... We actually here, Cap? Or do we just think we be? Go down that hole, Captain. You ain't coming out again. to go. Can't. Can't. No. No. Please. Help. I 
not going anywhere like this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Worth a look. Will do. My back's about broke as it is. Take him down. Say your prayers. Yeah. <laughs> That's not very helpful. This is futile. Go, futile. This is futile. No one knows that, right? Yeah. I cannot whack him any harder. <laughs> Not very helpful. See you. That's not. Very helpful. Let's go. do you for? I hear you. What have we here? Wayward Watcher has wandered into my realm, 
Whatever should I do with you? <laughs> you did not receive an invitation to my realm, Herald of Barath. Tell me, why should I not grind your soul to dust? But I have no need for a vassal. Everything I desire, I do for myself. Embrace oblivion with open arms, Watcher. As much as it would delight me to scatter your soul, you belong to Barath. I will spare you that fate. For now. Now, on to the matter that brought you here. Your Anamansa friends meddle in things beyond their comprehension. Were I not the generous creature I am, you would have died. Be sure to tell the Anamansas that they have failed and that they have drawn my gaze. I will not hesitate to obliterate them if they irritate me again. You might prepare yourself, Watcher. Aeothus's plan is a bold one, brilliant in its simplicity, and he has the will to bring it to fruition. Perhaps when Barath is through with you, I will find a use for you myself. Rare is the mortal who understands me as you do. And do send my regards to your Anamansa friends. He'd be great at parties, Reamer Gone. I've got it. Will do. Watcher, can you hear me? Oh, thank the gods. Thank Helia. Merla, you had us in a panic. I don't have to tell you it didn't work. The current spiked, and you went completely still, breathing but nothing else. We sent for the physician. Myself, I was about to try throwing some water in your face. What happened? Did you feel any pain? Do you remember anything? You had some kind of vision, a near-death experience? What was it like? Are you feeling any heightened aggression? Let's not harass our very patient friend any further. Sientere, Watcher, truly. It seems we sent your mind further afield than intended, and without the rest of you in tow. Not entirely outside our predictions, but not the result we wanted. We have stipend for volunteers. You're welcome to the sum of it. I hope it goes some way toward earning your forgiveness. Just as I hope this hasn't put you off helping us, we just have to adjust the current, give you a chance to control your... flight, for want of a better word. We're all very glad you're in one piece. We'll have a look at the machines, figure out what went wrong. Until then, I'm sure our friends at headquarters will want an update, and to see I haven't done you any permanent harm. We'll send word when we're ready here. 